everything that I used in this video will be linked down below. So if you would like to use what I use today, you can find them in the description box. You can paint the lid if you'd like, but I didn't feel like doing that, so I just started off with the glue and the rhinestone. Um, but I personally think it does look better if you paint it, just cause the color of the lid doesn't interfere with the different colors of the rhinestone. Halfway through doing this lid, I hated how it came out because I thought that starting on the outside would be better, so I redid it with the blue rhinestones. When creating your vinyl piece, you want to open a new project and hit upload. And from here, you can upload your SVG file of whatever design you choose. You can find these on Etsy. It's usually a couple cents to a dollar for a multi-pack. Once uploaded, it will let you resize it to whatever size you want. And the grid that you see on your page actually matches your mat. So I use it as a measurement guide. When it's finally time to cut, you can see on the left hand side that it is split up by its colors. And you just cut out the size of the vinyl that you need and line it up with your mat. Once you are finished cutting all of the vinyl that you need, you're going to start weeding them and this is actually my favorite part because it's so satisfying and it's one of the easiest things to do if there isn't too much detail in your vinyl piece. Next up, you will be using your transfer tape to layer your vinyl. There is a trick to use if you want it to be perfect which requires wax paper but I decided to eyeball it today because I was feeling pretty bold. This is optional, but I like to sort of give myself an idea of how I want it to look on the glass before I actually transfer it using the transfer tape. 